All right, I'm going to show you how to do a graph on your data collection. So you can see I have my cube data analysis assignment. I'm watching the tutorial. Say so as it says here, you should have your data and bar graph below. Make sure that you have the same graph as mine. So I have an example here. Here is all my data, and here is my bar graph. And notice on my bar graph, the blue is time number one, and red is time number two, and the yellow is time number three. And on this one, for example, the times do go down, and so it did get easier. You can see one little interesting one here where the second time was harder, and this one right here where the third time was the hardest, or the longest, and right here, the third time being just a bit longer than the second time. And uh, so I made up all my data. That doesn't mean that uh, mine was perfectly correct or anything. If yours is off, you still get full credit, but uh, I would like you to make a graph and so you can demonstrate how difficult yours was to put together. So I have in front of me the example here with the bar graph, and I'm just going to delete my graph now. And you can see that I have 10 pieces of data from 10 different people. They've all tested my project three times. And in order to insert the graph, all I'm going to do is I'm going to click on name here, and I'm going to drag it all the way down. So I'm dragging, I'm clicking and dragging all the way down to nine. Then you should have this icon here. Now, sometimes for some reason it's not there. And so if you have to do this click down icon here, and then I go to insert chart. Now, mine pops right up. Some of yours might have a different weird kind of graph on there. And so what I would like you to be on is a bar graph. And then when I go down here, every now and again, it doesn't look right because it might have this graph instead. And you can see, I clicked on switch rows and columns. And that gets the graph where it has the individual person written on there. And it has their times on there. And remember, these are the different times that I mentioned a minute ago. So I can do anything I need to do as far as with the same as if it were a uh, image. I double click on it and I can change the size and I can move it over to the side so I can still see everything. And then I'm happy with this orientation here and how it looks. So I'm going to go ahead and use my snipping tool and I'm going to snip at this entire thing. I'm going to right click, copy. I don't want to save it. And then I'm going to go to my assignment and I'm going to right click paste and I have my assignment. It's all right on there and yes that is going to be the extent of the assignment um, and uh, that'll get you credit for this. So you can turn that in when you have that on there um, and uh, rewatch anything if you have any questions and that's your data analysis.